<laughs> oh my god! What a way to start the morning. It just doesn't feel right that you're allowed to do this. You are allowed to do this. We're perfectly legal. Um, it's just that it's a quiet Wednesday and it's cold. There's nobody here, which is perfect for us. I just can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Oh my god! Turning the van round in a graveyard of Nazi war bunkers, as you do. We got some sun, baby! <laughs> when you haven't seen the sun in a few days, or a few weeks as it has been for us, oh, you appreciate it so much. Sunglasses in Denmark in November, who would have thought yeah, it? Yeah, what a treat. The one, it's been one day too. <laughs> and not even one day, one hour yeah, of sun so far. Morning. We're making the most of it. So this morning we're off to the largest dune Denmark, in Denmark. Yeah. Known as the Danish Desert. Oh right, okay. I think it's a nickname, it's not a desert. Okay, yeah. It's a dune. Number. It's a huge sand dune, uh, one of the things to go and see in northern Denmark. We're literally going to be driving past it anyway, so we're going to pop and have a look this morning. See what it's all about. There is so much sand in this bloody van. Thanks to Yes, owning a spaniel that loves the beach. Christ. Being up here you literally feel like you're in the middle of a desert. Unbelievable. The wind blowing the sand from opposing beaches and it meets in the middle. Because they're not that far apart. It creates a humongous sand dune. Mad.
Winnie is having the time of her life today. Her dream. She just keeps looking for the sea. She's a little bit confused. There's all this sand, but no sea. You normally go in the sea and lie down, and cool herself off a little bit. Yeah. We've been putting this off and off because the sea has genuinely been pretty rough. But today is the first swim day in Denmark. <laughs> Let's go. At the time we made the decision, the sun was out. Just gone in. That's okay, we will persevere. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Is it? Oh, that's a real oh. No go? No, I, I, I'm in my swim now. I've got to at least go like that. My feet are <laughs> 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 Whoa. Too bad. Oh, my feet are like ice with hair. That's different gravy. <laughs> Denmark got me. I always try and do 15 minutes, or I was doing 15 minutes before we come to Denmark. I've been trying to find the opportunity to get in. This is the opportunity. I managed about five minutes, if that. <laughs> My God, that's cold. Gonna go for your, just go to your knee if yeah. you're young. Have you seen the colour of your skin? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I haven't checked the sea temperature on Windy, but I think it's about nine degrees at the moment. I feel good for going in there. Getting used to it, yeah? <laughs> Keep that up, <laughs> This camera footage is going to be awful, it's so shaky. Oh. Also, all the boats out in the sea at the moment waiting to come into Skagen, and this big cruise ship. It's caused us some issues this morning. I'll explain on that in a minute. But I'm glad we got in for a swim. Your legs are so cold. You're not <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know we went in. You had your head in that hole the whole time. Well earned, hot cup of tea. And get that diesel heater on. The good thing is the air temperature, you have from, yeah. from what we've experienced so far in Denmark, it's actually it's really pretty warm today. Well. And that yeah. sun in the next 10 minutes is going to come through. Oh, yes, Denmark. So I'll explain more about the, oh, I'm so red. I'll explain more about the cruise ship. Uh, this morning we were parked in a car park on the north side of Skagen. I'll put it on the screen now where we were. Nice and quiet. We'd actually been parked there for four days um, because we'd been working and it was really quiet. We haven't really seen a soul. We've been out running. The beach was perfect for Winnie. There's some war bunkers there. This morning we woke up to the sound of buses. One bus turned up, two buses turned up. And when I say buses, I mean big buses. And they just kept on coming, kept on coming, kept on coming. And within no time at all where we were parked, enshrouded in hundreds and hundreds of people. Took Winnie for a walk, it was a bit of a nightmare. We couldn't really walk her properly. She likes running around after a ball, as you've seen. There's nowhere to throw a ball on the beach. Like, what can, like bus tours rocking up or something? And then we just clicked and we were like, cruise ship. Drove down to the south of Skagen because nobody seems to be coming this way. We were trying to get away from everyone because we like it quiet and the sun was out, we want to make the most, try and have a swim. Huge cruise liner in Skagen, must have come in last night and they've obviously all disembarked this morning and headed out into town, um, which is great for Skagen, great for the tourism industry. But Christ, we just, you never would have expected it. Yesterday it's like, not so much a ghost town, but it's quiet. And now, Busy, busy, busy. So we've come to the south of Skagen, which is where we're swimming this morning, um, which makes more sense. We're just about to leave this spot and head to our spot for the night. Check out this rainbow over the harbour and over the cruise ship. 
So this is where we've been staying the past three or four days? Four nights now, I think. Four nights, yeah, in this car park. Um, it's the most northerly point in Denmark. Fantastic. There's a motorhome service area about 20 minutes away, yeah. um, which we're going to tomorrow. But yeah, this is the most northerly point, and this is one of my favourite beaches of this trip. Yeah, definitely. It's been fantastic. Winnie absolutely loves it here, this beach. Um, we're coming. I think it's because there's mainly a lot of dead seals, cormorants, all sorts of washed up on the beach. There's lots to smell, lots to see. All the cruise tourists have now headed off. They're all gone. So it's all quiet now and we can resume. Business as usual. Business yeah. as usual. So we're currently at the most northerly point of Denmark on a beach. It's a strand of beach, which is absolutely fantastic. One of the things we've noticed in Denmark since we've been here is the amount of seal pups on the beach. Yeah. And from very little research, what we understand is the seal mums, yeah. they come in and sort of drop their pups off on the beach and then they go out hunting and they're just left here. And there's one in front of us currently. Mum won't come back until it's safe. So we're the last people on the beach this evening. There's a couple just leaving now, then we'll be going. And hopefully she'll pop up and come and get us yeah. with dinner. They're very sweet. Very, very sweet. They're really fluffy, really, really fluffy. So we're going to head back, make some dinner, turn in for the evening. And then tomorrow we're going to head to a national park. Yeah, don't ask me the name. And tomorrow we start exploring Eastern Denmark. Mm -hmm. We've come all the way up the Western coast, yeah. right up to the north where we are now. And then we're going to be heading from here. We head down the east to Copenhagen and all the little islands around Copenhagen, which looks fascinating. Looks strange on Google Maps. I'm looking quite forward to going there. So yeah, we will catch you tomorrow. Just arrived at the third national park in Denmark. We would have visited all three now that we've been here, is that correct? Yeah, the three main ones, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks really nice. Currently on a gravel track, we've got about one and a half miles of driving before we get to our little camp spot. So we're going down this one apparently, it's hope there's no, oh, no low branches that are going to destroy my solar panels. This doesn't, look, it's, this isn't the way in, we're coming in a funny way. We should, it's, the other way. it's where we had to turn off that main road. Yeah. We're coming in a really stupid way. We've just been off-roading around here for no reason. <laughs> No reason whatsoever. Yeah, we're not getting through. Well, we would get through there, but we're going to drag the top of the van through some branches, which would suck. And uh, I don't fancy replacing my solar panels anytime soon. Well, this makes a lot more sense. The reason we didn't come in this way before is because the turning off the main road is really dodgy. It's a dual carriageway, and you've got to stop if there's oncoming traffic to uh, obviously pull over the other side of the carriageway, then off. So we sort of went round thinking it would be okay, but the branches were too low. So yeah, it's a lot easier coming in this way, as long as you okay with doing a bit of a dodgy maneuver across a Julie. <laughs> so this is where we've arrived to and parked to. It's okay, it's not quite what we thought it was gonna be, but I've got a work call in about 40 minutes. Uh, the signal's really good here and Winnie needs to go for a walk. So it does tick a lot of boxes. So I think we'll stay the next couple hours and then decide whether we... It'll be very quiet here overnight, I think. Yeah. So I got done with my work call. Tash took Winnie for a lovely walk around that little part of the national park. And you said it was really nice, wasn't it? It was really nice, yeah. I saw it from the inside lovely of the van. Colours, good. Had a great time. Um, we didn't really fancy parking there though, as nice as it was. So we've come to another little location. Uh, 
and the rain has come in typically, but we're gonna head for a walk. There's a castle ruin, sort of a kilometer away. You can just about see it. We're gonna head out for a little walk there this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we've been too slow. Well, although it is rainy, we can't complain too much. There's no wind. It's not that cold. No. So apart from getting a bit wet, quite it's quite pleasant. Yeah, we can't complain. So we're just walking across the causeway over to this castle. This is awesome. So cool, they've erected the stairway in here so you can actually get a good idea of how big it is. All these holes where the wooden beams would have been to create the upper floors. Man. So for you that don't know, Winnie is actually a fully trained gun dog, believe it or not. And uh, she's very, very good at her job. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's quite soft, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she's very soft. And she goes to work, she's really good. So back in Somerset we shoot uh, when we're home. Over the hill here, the National Park, they're currently uh, driving pheasants and shooting by the sound of it. <laughs> and Winnie, she it's so funny to see, she just clicks into work mode. That's how she, she won't sit when she's on peg with me. She will hover her bum down lower and then just sit there with her ears perked up so she can hear everything that's going on. When she sees the gun or hears gunshot, she's, she clicks into mode. Yes, I know, we're not shooting. We're just, yeah, we're just chilling. It's not it's us. Not we're just saying the National Park facilities here in Denmark absolutely fantastic don't get me wrong this can be found in the uk i'm not disputing that but it's just free even has free wi-fi <laughs> it's just mad it's Well, the rain finally stopped and we're just out on an evening walk with Winnie through the woods, which is really nice. So autumnal, so colourful. We're going to leave this week's video there. Thanks for coming along. Once again, all the what three words for all the locations we've stayed in in this video, I'll put down in the description below to go and help yourself to those. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.